as the cool air heats up and the swarms of mosquitoes get larger. You can just tell, summer's right around the corner. But with that comes one problem. Good morning, Red Devils, I'm Ian, and today we're gonna go over some sweet hangout spots that you can explore this summer. Florida is filled with some amazing places. From Panama City to Miami Beach, there's sure to be something that piques your interest. If you're looking for the city life, Orlando or Miami would be perfect. Spend the day surfing the waves or exploring Disney World. If city life is a little bit too busy for you and you're looking to stick your toes in the sand, you can visit Key West, Anna Maria, or even St. Augustine. They're full of beachfront views and locally owned shops. You can even take a picture in front of Key West's southernmost point. But even if you can't scrounge up enough gas money, you can always look locally. For instance, downtown Lakeland is full of hidden gems, and sometimes it's the best trip you can take. Grab some friends, load up the Jeep, and go explore. I'm Ian, reporting for Ignition TV. On July 17, 2020, NASA will begin a groundbreaking exploration that has been the anticipation of the century. Good morning, explorers. My name is Ian, and today we'll be going over NASA's future plans for the Mars 2020 mission. NASA's Mars Exploration Program announced the 2020 mission back in December 4, 2012. Fast forward almost eight years, and NASA has scheduled the launch for July 17. The goal of this rover mission is to investigate ancient Mars environments, including past habitable lands and the possibility of past life on the planet. Another important aspect for this mission is the potential for future missions and sample returns. The rover will take between 20 to 30 drilling samples and cache them in small tubes along its route. The goal is to have a fetch rover retrieve the cached samples and return them to Earth in an Earth entry vehicle. This Mars rover mission will take measurements and technology designs for future human expeditions. This mission has not only the potential to expand our knowledge about the solar system, but our physical boundaries as well. Only time will tell. I'm Ian, reporting for Ignition TV. Ah, just finishing their amazing book, courtesy of our local library, which opened up in 1927 on the shores of Lake Morton. Morning Devils, I'm Ian, and today we're here downtown to explore some of the hidden treasures of our local library. If 
you're looking for the perfect book to curl up with, come search their selection of over 60,000 books. And if you still can't find it, you can have it brought to straight to the library online. Not a reader? Perfect. They've got DVDs for any occasion. Late night documentaries, movies with friends, or even a musical if you're feeling up to it. If after all that you're still not interested, you can come down, grab some coffee, and work in front of the amazing view of Lake Warren. That's sure to get you inspired. There is so much more to explore here at Lakelands Public Library. Come on down and explore some of your own hidden treasures, and pick up a book or two while you're here. I'm Ian, reporting for Ignition TV. Many new stores and restaurants are opening up in downtown Lakeland. Among those is The Joinery, which opened up two months ago. Good morning, Red Devils. My name is Ian, and today I'm going to give you an inside scoop on downtown Lakeland's Joinery. The Joinery is a modern food hall located on 640 East Main Street. This restaurant is a perfect place for any large family that may have varying appetites. The food hall has eight main restaurants, ranging from street tacos to wood fire pizza. After you get your food, you can either eat indoors, out front, or on the back counter. So with all that, let's go check out some of my three personal favorite restaurants. Ever wanted to go vegan but just can't satisfy your craving for meat? The Super Duper Spot has the Impossible Burger, made with a plant-based patty. They also have other things like their super fries or their fried chicken. Let's go see what's cooking over at Gaito. Gaito is a taqueria originally from Tampa. They've got everything from street corn to ava fresca. The best time to come is either Tuesday or Sunday during their Taco Tuesday special. My personal favorite item here is their carne asada tacos. But if you're not in the mood for tacos, they've got a pizzeria just down the hall named Ava's. Ava's is a Neapolitan style pizza place. They cook all of their pizza at 900 degrees in their Italian made pizza oven. They have a variety of different pizzas, but today I'm gonna to try the margarita. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Come on down to the joinery for the great food and amazing atmosphere. I'm Ian, reporting for Ignition TV.